very good morning once again to all the students of class 9th d uh, we are going to continue the chapter weathering the storm in erzama so yesterday we discussed about the n number of uh, natural calamities which destroy uh, your you can say houses and uh, living spaces of the people and we are going to talk about that super cyclone which came into prashant's life as well as physically and mentally and uh, uh, the protagonist of the chapter is a young boy named Prashant. And uh, weathering the storm in Rizama, Rizama is the name of the place, a state in, uh, in Odisha state, right? So uh, the story gives an account of the storm that hit the coastal town of Rizama in the state of Odisha in the year 1999. <clears throat> there is one main character, major character that is Prashant. And he faced the fury of the storm and reached his village with very difficulty. So we will be reading the journey of Prashant from his friend's house to his own house in, during the storm. So the details of how he worked and he uh, hard to help the villagers and how he helped uh, other people over there. And he inspired us to have you know, courage and positive approach towards life. So you can see two themes are written. Kindly note down. Firstly, I'll discuss the themes and then I'll share the screen with you. Okay. So very first theme is our courage and presence of mind helps us tide over even the worst of hurdles. Why did I choose this quote only? Because it is apt on this chapter. You have seen this in this chapter. There are a lot of hurdles and difficulties and water waves. Fine. Uh, riding over the waves, it's very difficult. It is a skill only, a skill is required. So they are saying, what can lead you to ride over such difficulties, such hurdles, our courage and presence of mind? If you are courageous, you are brave, fine. You have guts in you and you have your presence of mind. Only then you can face any difficulty in life, fine. So second is even worst of the hurdles can be handled by you if you are smart enough to manage. Second is the human spirit can lead him to win over any circumstance. So whatever circumstance is there in your life, uh, so many difficulties might be there. But if you are, you know, very uh, stubborn on this, yes, I will definitely go through it. I will definitely cross this then only you can lead to win over any circumstance. So this is our willpower. You know, we have seen many people achieving such targets, which is unimaginable for us, but they do it because they have very strong willpower. They are very determined, right? Only then they are able to do this. So this is what we're going to read in this chapter. So now I'll be sharing the screen. Uh, that problem got sorted out. If you can see the screen, kindly send me thumbs up. You can see the screen. Okay, fine. So the cyclone that hit Orissa in October 1999 killed thousands of people and devastated hundreds of villages. For two dreadful nights, Prashant, a young man, was marooned on the roof of a house. He was left over there, left abandoned. He was marooned, he was stuck over there on the roof of a house. Fine. On the third day, he decided to go to his village. Did he find his family? So for two days, he went over there to have good time with his friend, but he never knew that this is going to happen when he will be there. <coughs> On the third day, he decided to go to his village. And after two days, when he reaches, will he find his family <clears throat> or not? That is to be seen. So on 27th October 1999, seven years after his mother's death, Prashant had gone with this. We have, you know, read yesterday only that what happened 18 kilometers from his village, he had gone in the coastal Odisha, that area where, you know, waterside area. And then in evening, a dark menacing storm quickly gathered. So when he was about to come back in the evening, uh, he could not come back because winds beat against the houses with a speed and fury that Prashant had never witnessed before. He had never seen in his life that kind of strong winds. You can see in this picture they have <clears throat> uh, depicted, this picture is depicting everything that how strong winds were swaying the trees and houses and people were stuck on the roof and houses were drowned into the water. You can see that roof ke paas hi paani 
<coughs> that was the scene in <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so uh, trees got uprooted and crashed and screams could be heard this we have read yesterday but i'm just going through so that the students who were absent yesterday they can have a view angry waters whirled into his friend's house neck deep so so high neck deep water entered into his friend's house building was thankful to god they were at that time that the building was of brick and mortar mortar is cement right so that was strong enough to survive the devastation of the wind's velocity of 350 km per hour so what is the velocity of wind here 350 km per hour so they have never i witnessed such storm but that cold terror of the family grew when trees started getting crashed they started getting uprooted hawa mein trees ud rahe the and they started falling on the rooftops of a people and in middle of the night damaging the roofs and walls of people's houses so crazy destruction was there crazy destruction and cyclone now i'm going to read it from here okay let's continue jitna hum nikal kiya tha we have already gone through in a very very fast way that's why i'm speaking chaliye ab continue karte hain anybody would like to read but you need to uh, you know anybody would like to read if you do not have any disturbance at the background they can raise hand uh, those who do not have any network issues they can speak in class also you do reading in online mode also you can do reading okay diksha wants to read okay this paragraph uh, i have highlighted you read that The trees destruction brought by the cyclone and the surge of ocean continued for the next three uh, thirty six hours. Although wind speeds had reduced somewhat, by the next morning to escape the water rising in the house, Prashant and his friends' family had taken refuge on the roof. Prashant could never forget the shock he experienced at the first glimpse of the devastation brought by the super cyclone in the grey light of the early morning. A raging, deadly brown sheet of water covered everything as far as the, his eye could see. Only fractured cement houses still stood on the few places. Stop. In a few okay. places. Stop, stop. You can mute yourself. Fine. Uh, okay, Rishikesh, I will give the next turn. Let me explain this. So crazy destruction was there by the cyclone, and uh, surge of the ocean continued for next thirty-six hours for two days regularly, almost. Uh, less than two days, but thirty-six hours were very crucial. Wind speeds were reducing uh, after a few hours. Next morning, but uh, the level of the water, uh, you know, it it rose to that level. Even that uh, till roofs, the uh, water level was there. So Prashant and his friends' family, they, because they were lucky enough to have a you know pakka house that that was made up of uh, strong uh, mortar and bricks. So. Prashant and his friend and his family they decided to go to the uh, roof. Prashant will never forget the shock. Why he was in shock? Because when he had the first glimpse of the devastation, जो नुकसान हुआ था, brought by the super cyclone in the grey light of the early morning. So it was the dawn period, D A W N, early morning time. A raging, deadly brown sheet of water covered everything as far as the eye could see. Only and only. you know filthy water could be seen wherever the eyes could go broken cement houses still stood in a few places so houses got broken bloated animal carcasses and human corpses floated animal carcasses animal dead bodies human corpses human dead bodies for dead bodies of human we use the word corpse for dead bodies of animals we use the word carcass okay so they were floating into the water in any direction they could see dead bodies huge old trees uh, <clears throat> this was a blessing in disguise because what happened what is a blessing in disguise if i ask you when one of the trees or uh, two trees fell on the roof of uh, their house you know two coconut trees had fallen on the roof of uh, prashant's friend's house and why this is a blessing because they were too hungry for many hours they were stuck at the roof of his friend's house and uh, by god's grace coconut tree fell on their house and they could eat coconuts because they were quite hungry at that time so this was a blessing in disguise
Yes, who wants to read? <clears throat> Nobody? For the next two days, Prashant sat. Yes, Rishikesh, I was asking you and then you went. Yes, Peter. Ma'am, I raise and for reading. Okay, you can read. Ma'am, the, the, ma uh, for the next two days, Prashant sat huddled with his friend's family in the open on the rooftop. The the froze in the cold and increasing rain. Increasing rain water. In okay, ma'am. The rain water washed away Prashant's tear. The only thought that finished thought his mind flashed was through. whether his family had survived. <clears throat> flashed through whether his mind. His family. Ma'am, yes. Flashed through his mind was whether. His family had survived the fury of the super cyclone. Was he to be bereaved? Bereaved once again. Once again, two days later. Oh, your. What happened, Rishikesh? Nothing happened. You can mute yourself if any problem is there. Okay, I will continue. Uh, the only thought that flashed to the mind was whether his family had survived the fury of the super cyclone. Was he to be bereaved once again? What does it mean? Was it to be to be bereaved once again? Here means he was already he has you know uh, you know that in the beginning we have read that when he was bereaved means when we you know you have lost a family member. Clear when you have lost a family member. So he's saying that already he has lost his mother. We have read that many years ago he lost his mother. And now he's again, you know, he was crying. His tears were there and rain was uh, falling and his, you know, rain swept away his tears. He was just thinking about his family members that already he has lost his mother. That is there any like possibility that the storm was quite strong that he might have lost any, any of the family members. He was quite, uh, you know, scared at that time. So he has to be bereaved once again. So note down the meaning huddled means sitting together in a group. A uh, few words we have, uh, you know, I have highlighted this paragraph. Huddled means together in a group, flashed through his mind means came to his mind, occurred to his mind, came to his mind. Then bereaved means to have lost a family member or a friend to death. Bereaved means to lost a family member to death. Clear? So this is it uh, in the, the, these uh, two paragraphs. These are the words only. So Prashant, you know, he knew he had to go. He was scared that two days later, which seemed to Prashant like two years. So two days he, he was stuck at his friend's roof, eating only coconut. Fine. They froze in the cold and incessant rain. So uh, the only thought that flashed through his mind was his family. And uh, uh, yes, rain ceased. Ceased means stopped. Rain stopped, but the rain water slowly began to recede. Recede means to reduce. Okay. Level of the water started receding. It started re reducing. Prashant was determined to seek out his family without further delay. So Prashant was very determined, like, I will find out my family anyhow, but the situation was still dangerous. And his friend's family pleaded with Prashant to stay back a little while longer. So pleaded means requested. Prashant's friend's family, they requested Prashant that you should stay longer. But Prashant said, no, I cannot stay now. Two days already are passed and he had to go. So he equipped himself with a long, sturdy stick and then started on his 18 kilometer expedition. What is expedition? Expedition means journey. J-O-U-R-N-E-Y. Okay, if anybody is left, you can search the meaning in dictionary also. I'm trying to give the meaning side by side, but if I uh, miss any word, you can search in the dictionary also. He equipped himself with a long sturdy. Sturdy means very strong, sturdy stick. Then started on his 18 kilometer journey back to his village through the swollen flood waters now why they are swollen flood waters because in the flood water jo ka tha, there were a lot of dead bodies 
floating into a so in that way they are saying it was a journey he would never forget he constantly had to use his stick to locate the road because he might fall into any pit over there which is open pit so uh, he kept on using the stick to check whether the road is clear because water was uh, you know clogged over there so clogging water means ko jana you can see this picture beta see the water level has receded pehle wo bilkul neck tak tha now it is like half of the human body was uh, merged or immersed into the waters clear it is clearly visible and he started using the stick to find out that whether any pit might be there so he was checking ki koi uh, pit to nahi hai and uh, he can move forward uh, accordingly fine so let me now where the water was most shallow at places it was waist deep and progress was slow at several points he lost the road and had to swim also so there was a point when he was swimming into this dirty stinky water after some distance he was relieved to find two friends of his uncle who were also returning to their village they decided to move ahead together so you can see there are two men in the picture so he was lucky enough that two acquaintances acquaintances means do jaan pehchan ke vyakti fine acquaintances means do the person who knows you fine so he was so happy to see that there were two men who were also wanted to go to the same village so he joined them together and they decided that let's do let's move together into the village now as they waded through the waters the scenes they witnessed grew more and more macabre now macabre here means beta horrible underline the word macabre it means horrible so which is very horrible the more they were going further this is the word where it is yes here it is clear yeah. so as they waded through this paragraph which i have highlighted we are reading they were just going through the waded means a swimming waded means swam uh, in a way you are uh, you know removing that and you are moving forward wading uh, waded here means they swam through the waters sometimes they were walking sometimes they were swimming as per the level of the water the scenes they witnessed were very horrible very macabre they had to push away many human bodies men women children dead bodies were floating into the water the carcasses of dogs goats cattle you know in the villages it is very common scene to see dogs goats and cattle jo bhi baaki ke pashu hote hain that the current swept against them as they moved ahead and it is you know you need a very strong personality to eye witness such things and you are in a very physically you are in a tough circumstance you are moving through the waters and mentally also you are in a very tough circumstance when you have to watch such i uh, you can say scene in front of your eyes dead bodies and all so in every village that they passed they could barely because he has to travel 18 kilometers you can imagine so in every village they passed they could barely see a house standing koi ha ghar khada nahi dikh raha tha every house was broken prashant now wept out loud now he started crying he is a young man only he started crying because jaise jaise wo aage ja raha hai he is thinking of his own family and he is looking at the people also in a devastated condition so he was sure that his family could not have survived this catastrophe catastrophe means beta disaster underline the word catastrophe catastrophe means disaster d i s a s t e r disaster jo hota hai fine so he was crying loudly now why he was crying loudly because usko lag raha tha that my family i don't think so might have survived in such because the kind of scene he was looking forward to he was having an idea that he has lost his family eventually let's see whether he will meet his family or not eventually prashant reached his village kalikuda underline the name of the village of prashant beta kalikuda kalikuda is the name of the village where prashant lives his heart went cold where their home once stood there were only remnants of its roof so he has reached the place remnants means uh, small quantities remnants means i have highlighted the paragraph the third line first word is remnants remnants means small remaining quantities 
small remaining quantities am i audible to you all clearly fine it's clearly audible to you all no? fine so remnants means a small remaining quantities so prashant reached his village kalikura he became numb on seeing in front of him he became shocked fine that when his heart went cold means jaise aap kehte na thanda pad gaya ji in that way he became numb to see that his own home when once stood there were only remnants of its roof sirf kuch bache kuch roof ke tukde of his own house some of their belongings were caught when you see your belongings uske ghar ka saman fine his own belongings were caught mangled and twisted in the branches of trees just visible above the dark waters young prashant decided to go to the red cross shelter to look for his family he was aware uh, that red cross societies you might have heard red cross uh, shelter was created by the government over there that whosoever you know they uh, are alive they will be reaching there for bandages uh, किसी को चोट लगी हो सकती है सम पीपल वर हंगरी सो दे हैव यू नो काइंड ऑफ कैंप्स उन्होंने लगा दिए थे सो दैट इफ यू आर मिसिंग फ्रॉम समवेयर एट दिस प्लेस यू कैन फाइंड योर फैमिली मेंबर सो रेड क्रॉस शेल्टर वाज गिवन एक आसरा दिया गया था उनको सो व्हेन ही रीच्ड ओवर देयर एंड ही सॉ हिज ओन बिलोंगिंग्स फ्लोटिंग इनटू द वाटर रूफ रिमेनिंग्स वर लेफ्ट ओनली हिज ओन बिलोंगिंग्स वर स्टक इनटू द ब्रांचेस ऑफ द ट्री you can very well imagine the condition of prashant among the first people he saw in the crowd was his maternal grandmother fine so he reached over there to uh, red cross shelter do we have time we have 5 minutes now with us okay so among the first people he saw in the crowd was his maternal grandmother weak with hunger she rushed to him her hands outstretched her eyes brimming it was a miracle they had long given him up for dead the way prashant was thinking that he has lost his family similarly the members of his family were also thinking that they have lost prashant so his maternal grandmother means who is the maternal grandmother jo uski nani thi clear पेटर्नल ग्रैंड मदर जो आपकी दादी होती है फ्रॉम पेटर्नल साइड ओके फादर साइड सो मेटर्नल ग्रैंड मदर मीन्स इज नानी सो शी वॉज देयर स्ट्रेचिंग हर आर्म्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम एंड शी बिकेम वेरी वीक विद हंगर शी बिकेम लाइक टू डेज से किसी ने कुछ खाया नहीं था शी रश टू हिम हर हैंड्स आउट स्ट्रेच हर आईज दे वॉज ब्रिमिंग दे वॉज शाइन इन दी आईज शी वॉज सो हैप्पी टू सी दैट प्रशांत वॉज अ लाइव तो इट वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ मिरेकल फॉर दैम they had long given up they thought that prashant is no more now they were thinking he had gone to see his friend he might because you know storm started in the evening only they thought that prashant might be on his way back to his own village when that storm occurred and he is no more so quickly word spread and his extended family gathered around him you know extended family the other members and they hugged him tight in relief prashant anxiously scanned the motley battered group his brother and sister his uncles and aunts all seemed to be there motley means uh varied in appearance or character changed in write down the meaning of motley m o t l e y i repeat motley means varied in appearance or character varied v a r i e d varied means changed so means people have changed for three long days they were in this devastating condition they have not eaten the food they have not drunk water they do not have good clothes to wear so they were changed uh, when we see their appearance so you know after meeting her nani after meeting her uh, maternal grandmother he started looking here and there that where are other members of the family so quickly everybody came and hugged him tightly and prashant was anxious he started scanning the whole group of people over there and his brother and sister were there he was so happy to see that they are alive his uncles and aunts were there they all seemed to be there so he was quite satisfied after seeing to all the members okay so we will continue uh, better the 
rest of the part uh, tomorrow because uh, we are not having time to continue now. Clear? Any doubt to anyone, you can ask me. If you could not understand now uh, so far, any doubt to anyone? I hope it's clear. Send me thumbs up. Jaldi se. Fine, Katiksha. Rishikesh, what happened to you? You were reading, uh, you were reading nicely and suddenly you felt that you're not reading good and you started giving your reaction. Fine. So be confident enough. Learn from Prashant. Okay, learn from Prashant only that no matter what the circumstance is, situation any circumstance, we have to use our presence of mind accordingly. Okay, you never get scared, you know, what will I do? What will happen? And all that stuff. Okay, you need not get scared. We will discuss it later on, no problem. Okay, this chapter we will continue tomorrow. So have a nice day, all the children.